Thanks for joining me today here in the Bourbon Bar. Um, today we're going to be reviewing uh, something a little different, something kind of fun. I know I haven't done any store picks since I have started doing my reviews, and I'm sure it's a common question, are they better, what's the difference, are they really different? And I'm here to prove that yes, they are really different. And I'll show a couple, or give a couple examples of how on this particular bottle. So the normal bottle we'll be reviewing is Sazerac Rye. A really awesome 90 proof rye whiskey from Sazerac, uh, Buffalo Trace family. And then the other one is going to be a Jewel Osco store pick Sazerac rye bottle. Also 90 proof, both are no age statement, both 90 proof. And this one is a single barrel Jewel Osco pick. It is uh, barrel number 68. And they, that's a true example of a single barrel because this one here is a Jewel Osco barrel number 63. So they do exist, there is a difference, and the whole purpose is to offer an expression that's a little, I wouldn't say better, but better, or something a little more unique than the average batch. So when Master Distiller goes and tastes the barrels, he goes, this one is phenomenal, let's set that one aside for a barrel pick, and that way all of us enthusiasts get to try something a little different or a little more enhanced, and um, get to brag that we had something a little more unique that not everyone does. So I'll start with the, I'll go with nose. Oh, well, really quick too. Both are 30 bucks. Jewel Osco doesn't price gouge. So if you found like a Kroger or whatever your major liquor store is, it shouldn't be overcharging. And what I mean by major is they have multiple locations, not just your go-to mom and pops, because chances are they are overcharging. And they have to, They're, you know, you get it. Smaller company, less revenue. They gotta make their bread where they can. It all happens. Anyways, uh, I'll go with the nose for the, Standard baby says, and then I'll roll into the nose of the store pick. Right, it's pretty sweet, like dark sweetness, like clove, orange zest, a little raisin, and a very soft touch of uh, soft touch of rice spice. And then to this nose. Sweet red fruit, a little tartness like cherry. Cherries and strawberries. And then there's a bright floral hit of mint. I do want to mention too, this one's been open for just a couple of days where this one's been open for a couple of months. Not a huge deal, but this one's had some time to breathe. Um, all this space happened pretty much overnight. I drank most of this in a day or two, maybe. So this one's been resting and breathing, whereas this one's very new and very robust and very full of flavor. So anyways, I'll get back to this one and uh, get into the palette. Actually, I just want to take a look at legs. The legs on this store pick are phenomenal. They're very rich, thick and syrupy. And this one, they grow slow. They're not quite as syrupy, but they're very, very nice for a sub $30 bottle of rye whiskey. Let um, me get a little taste and I'll go back and forth. That's so pleasant, sweet, caramely, fruity, apricot, caramel, vanilla. Nice legs, really nice legs. Like I said, this one's thicker, but these are really nice legs for 30 bucks. Very similar weight and viscous and viscosity for mouthfeel, but this one just has so many more flavors popping off. Like, 
bananas, but not just a fresh pill banana, like bananas flambe. And you cook it off in some brown sugar and a little alcohol and it just sweetens and richens up. There's a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of mint. This one had four or five tasting notes and this one's got about six. And you just keeps you coming back for more. Not a super long finish on it either. Um, I'd say it has more of a sweet, burnt caramel finish. Because it's sweet and rich like brown sugar, but even sugar at a point when you cook it far enough, it gets a little dry or bitter. Or, and, that, and that's kind of the feel I'm getting from that. It just goes from sweet, sweet, sweet to just kind of an abrupt stop with a little bit of dryness. and. Nothing wrong with it, just an observation. I'm gonna get back to this one and try and get back on the uh, back to a finish, and then I'll just do a quick analysis and breakdown. Both share a very nice, rich rose gold color. Um, colors, not that they should matter, but they shouldn't be too different coming from the same lineup, at least. But. You never know, a single barrel, what could be the difference? Rice spice, black pepper, licorice, sweet fruit. Black pepper, if I didn't say. Kind of gets like a little sweet, little floral sweet, and then finishes off kind of spicy and dry. And um, nothing wrong with that at all. Very nice, actually a very nice evolution of, uh, of taste as it goes on. Not a super long finish and not overly viscous. Neither of them are like overly oily where they really light in your mouth, but they have enough weight to right as it hits your palate, it sits for a minute, you know it's there, you swallow, and then it coated it long enough to where you're, as you're exhaling, you're still tasting and breathing and getting aromas from it. All right, so I don't rush, I need to get a little, uh, little palate cleanse. That is such a mild and soft and pleasant mouthfeel. It takes a second for the transition and then right as it starts to roll into the finish, you get some clove, a little dryness, a little cinnamon, some spice, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of like cobbler. And uh, mainly, I wouldn't say mainly, but again with the cinnamon. Anyways, both are really good. I wouldn't sleep on either. Under 30 to 35 bucks, I would get them all day long, depending where you're at, your store pick selection. I would definitely recommend trying it. It is a single barrel, a true single barrel. And the initial product is so good out of the gates that if they're offering a, this to me is like a honey barrel because it's so much sweeter and richer. Excuse me. But it's so sweet, soft. <laughs> can't speak. So smooth, sweet, soft and gentle, it's like the definition of honey barrel. It's, it's money, it's smoother, it's sweeter. This one may have a little more clove and spice, but I don't know if you're trying, I mean, to each his own, but I guess I would prefer something sweeter and more fruit forward and a little more gentle, regardless of the proof. I mean, I've had stuff that's 125 to 135 proof that doesn't burn or sear my mouth and I've had stuff at 90 proof that does. And for a 90 proofer, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal single barrel. 
So the standard product, I'd have to go ahead and give a B plus, just because it's not blow your mind. It does get some points for being available. It does get some points for being good quality. And um, yeah, overall, just a really nice drink. Again, not a blow the world or blow your mind type, but super, super solid. This one, I would like to rate higher than that because I like the tasting profiles more. I like the richness and complexity of that more, but this is not as available. At my Jewel Osco, this comes out, what, once a year? So availability for everyone is kind of going to be a little crappy, but when you do find it, especially if it's at a good price, it's a great deal. I might just have to give it a flat B just for the availability circumstance. If it was available year round or in a single barrel offering, I'd probably give it an A minus because it is taste wise noticeably different and in my mind better than the standard. But like I said, I can only get this once a year and this I can buy all year long for 30 bucks. So gets a couple points in that category. So. Anyways, thanks for stopping in. Cheers. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, join me soon. Uh, don't forget to check out the TikTok and the YouTube. Thank you guys. Just noticed I said TikTok and YouTube. I'm on YouTube. TikTok and Instagram. Thanks. <laughs>